What's up everybody? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. We have two vectors A and B and they are both unit vectors with an angle of 120 degrees between them. We have to determine the magnitude of 4A plus 3B and then we have to determine the direction of 4A plus 3B relative to 4A. So let's start off by drawing these two unit vectors A and B. So let's say this is vector a, and because it's a unit vector, what's the magnitude of vector A? Well, the magnitude of vector A is just 1. And then we have vector B, and we're told that there's an angle of 120 degrees between them. And whenever you're given an angle between two vectors, it's when the vectors are attached tail to tail. So an angle of 120 degrees, that means that B would be pointing this way, right? This is 120 degrees over here. So this is vector B, and it's a unit vector, so the magnitude of B is equal to one as well. Well, now we have to determine the magnitude of 4A plus 3B. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to add these two vectors. So drawing this out again, Let's say, actually, let's draw it a little lower. So let's say this right here is 4a, right? So I just took this vector and then uh, extended it four times. Now, it's not necessarily to scale, but let's just pretend this vector is four times the length of this one, four times the magnitude. Four times the magnitude means the magnitude of this is going to be 4. And then we have to add 3b to it. Now when we're adding vectors, we have to add the tail of the next vector to the head of the previous vector. So notice this is tail to tail, so if we were adding these two, like a plus b, we would have to take this vector and shift it, like that. So when we're adding 3b, Instead of it being tail to tail, we would shift it and it would go this way, like this. Right, so this would represent 3b over here. And because vector b is a unit vector, the magnitude of this is going to be 3. Right, so this vector, the resultant from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector, this vector here represents 4a plus 3b, this vector right here. So in part a, we have to determine what is the magnitude of this. And then um, for part b, we have to determine the direction of this vector 4a plus 3b relative to 4a. So we're going to have to solve for this angle over here. Right, so going back to this, notice that the angle between these two vectors is 120 degrees when they're tail to tail. So if we take this vector and we sort of shift it over, that means that this angle is going to be the same as that angle, right? Because it's just a parallel line here that's extended. So if this whole thing is 180 degrees, this is 120, that means this is going to be 60, which means that this here is going to be 60. Right, so there was an angle of 120 degrees between them, but when we shift it with that Z pattern, 180 minus 120 gives us 60. So now notice that we just have a triangle. Right, we have a triangle where uh, if I draw a smaller one out, we have an angle 60 degrees here. We got three, we got four, and we're solving for X and theta. That's pretty much it. So to solve for this x, which is the magnitude of this vector 4a plus 3b, what would we do? We would use cosine law. So for part a, we'll have uh, x squared, right? So I'm just using the notation from this triangle. It's equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared uh, minus 2 times 3 times 4 times cos of 60, cos of that opposite angle. And we know cos of 60 is 1 half, so 1 half times 2, those would just cancel out. 
So we'll have 9 plus 16 minus 12. That's equal to x squared. So that means x squared. 9 plus 16 is 25. Minus 12 is 13. So x is root 13. So the answer to part A, the magnitude of this vector, is root 13, like that. And now notice that we can solve for this theta as well. We can just use sine law now. So we would have sine of 60 over x, x we know is root 13, equals sine of theta over 3. And now we just got to solve for that sine of theta. So when we cross multiply, we would end up having what? 3 sine 60 times root 13 sine theta. And then uh, we would divide both sides by uh, root 13 to get that sine theta by itself, and then inverse sine both sides to get the theta by itself. So basically, we would end up with theta equals the inverse of sine of uh, 3 times sine 60 over root 13. And that calculation there will give us this angle, right? So the direction of 4a plus 3b relative to this vector 4a. And when you do that calculation, you end up getting 46 degrees. So this angle here, 46 degrees, and that's the answer to part B. All right, so when you get a question like this, what you want to do is you want to first draw out the two unit vectors. I erase that part. And then depending on what you're doing, whether you're adding them or subtracting them or you are um, multiplying them by certain scalars, you want to draw out that new triangle you're working with and then maybe draw out a smaller triangle so you could just see it better. And then, uh, yeah, usually you're using cosine law and sine law to solve for that magnitude and direction, respectively.